Oh, wow, indeed. On a day full of images of great happiness, this was the happiest. The kiss on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, the reason so many tens of thousands had flocked to the Mall. And just in case anyone had missed it, Prince William suggests one more kiss. The pilots of the Battle of Britain Memorial flight may have arrived just too late to see it, but the cameras of the world did not. On the most famous balcony on earth, they and their families had given the billions watching the picture they wanted. No wonder the nation's new princess could look back with such pleasure at a perfect day. Brother officers in the dress uniforms of the Irish Guards and Prince Harry's own regiment, the Blues and Royals, were at the Abbey in time to chat with guests, greet their family, and await the bride. It was her prerogative to be a little late, but in the event she kept perfectly to time, keeping no one waiting for the first sight of that dress. The five-minute journey to the Abbey gave tantalising glimpses of the veiled bride, her tiara given to the Queen Mother by King George VI, and now lent to her by the Queen. Something borrowed. Just ahead of her, sister and maid of honour, Pippa, guiding two tiny bridesmaids through the biggest day of their young lives. Not even the ten bells of Westminster Abbey could drown out the cheers as the bride stepped out of her car. The groom and his best man were brought back from the relative seclusion of a side chapel to be at the altar as his bride's procession began. Sir Hubert Parry's anthem, I Was Glad, filling the abbey to its vaulted ceilings. Prince William still didn't want to look. It was for his brother to keep lookout and whisper commentary. And when he did look, it didn't take a lip reader to see his reaction. You're beautiful, he said. The first hymn was an opportunity for her father, Michael, to lift her veil to reveal the happiest of smiles. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. 
To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my truth. And thereto I give thee my truth. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee honour. With my body I thee honour. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I pronounce that they be man and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There was at all times a naturalness and a warmth between them most visible when the Bishop of London spoke to them directly during his address. You have both made your decision today. I will. He finished by reading a prayer that they had written for their wedding day. God our Father, we thank you for our families, for the love that we share, and for the joy of our marriage. In the busyness of each day, keep our eyes fixed on what is real and important in life, and help us to be generous with our time and love and energy. Strengthened by our union, help us to serve and comfort those who suffer. We ask this in the spirit of Jesus Christ. And we all say, Amen. To the sounds of Sir William Walton's Crown Imperial, they returned from signing the registers in St Edward's Chapel to perform a final official duty. A smile and a small nod of regal approval for her new granddaughter-in-law. And approval there was plenty, as the new princess emerged into spring sunshine on the steps of the Abbey. The crowds in Hyde Park could only see her on giant screens, but that didn't deter them one bit. As they settle into the open-top carriage, she asks her new husband, are you happy? And seems pleased with his response. An estimated one million people were lining the processional route. Many of them got here days ago, and this is what they came for. As the carriage passed under Horse Guard's arch, they were hand in hand. The band struck up the national anthem as they drove through the palace gates. He saluted smartly, she bowed her head. Their day was not done, far from it. Help from the carriage by her prince, the balcony appearance, lunch for 600, a party that is still going on late into this evening, still lay ahead.
A few minutes later, the Queen herself gave her verdict on the day, telling her crown equerry it was amazing. And there was to be a final treat for those who still thronged the gates of the palace. In mid-afternoon, the going away. But no carriage or Rolls-Royce. It was his father's Aston Martin. It has been their day, but they have taken such obvious delight in sharing their happiness with everyone who has wanted to be part of it. And in doing so, they have put a broad smile on the face of the nation.